Hey guys, it's Christina Marie, and usually I do YouTube videos about beauty and fashion, but I wanted to do a review today of Better Mortgage for getting a new home mortgage and let you know whether I would recommend it or not. Um, big picture takeaway is I am closing with a new condo on Monday with Better Mortgage. They did close the process within three weeks. Granted, my real estate agent and me both pushed them very, very hard to meet that deadline. It was a okay process. Would I recommend them again? Big picture takeaway. I would probably look at them for rates, but I'm not 100% sure I would go with better mortgage again. I would probably use their rates and then work with a person instead and use their rates to negotiate a better rate with an actual person who knows what they are doing throughout the whole process. Um, I did not do that because Better Mortgage gave me a rate that was 0.375 less than the person I was working with. So for me, that ended up saving me about 130 a month in my mortgage and the closing costs were like $2,000 less using bettermortgage.com. There were no points with the rate that I selected and no um, processing fees or underwriting fees, which is what a woman that I was working with was going to charge me, which was like $1,300. So Better Mortgage did save me a substantial amount of money. That's why I ended up going with them. Um, but there are some things that you should know, both really good things and really bad things, not really bad, but not so good things about working with Better Mortgage. So in this review of Better Mortgage, I'm just gonna go through the whole experience, kind of um, what to expect. And then along the way, I'm gonna explain what I liked and what I didn't like about using Better Mortgage for a home loan. Okay, so the first thing that I really liked about Better Mortgage was their rate calculator online. It just made everything super duper easy to compare rates and points. And their calculators online were really good, but I could go online and be like, okay, if I'm going to put $500,000 down or like 15, it was just easy to play with the numbers. So I could be like, okay, if I put down less, how much extra do I have to pay? Oh, that's not that much. It's really easy to compare rates. It's just, you see a whole like neat table of all of the different rates, um, points or credits and the percentage. So I actually ended up paying a slightly higher interest rate to get a credit of about I think it was, I have to check, like $2,000 at closing because right now when I am filming this video, I expect to refinance in two years anyway. So I'd rather get the credit now. But big picture, Better Mortgages Rate Calculator online was super duper clear and easy to understand. I could see how much I was putting down, the percentage, and then whether I was paying points or getting a credit, it was just super easy. Um, second thing that I liked about Better Mortgage was the salesperson. He was actually really, really responsive, not pushy at all, would just follow up with me via text actually. Um, in the beginning, whenever I called him or texted him, he would pick up right away and get back to me and he explained things really, really clearly, better than the mortgage person I was working with. He would send me um, the loan estimate right from the start. It was just really easy to understand. It showed the loan costs um, tip. I did negotiate it down from like $360 to zero. It shows all of the fees really clearly and he explained to me like, okay, the other costs like your taxes, prepaids, your home insurance, um, all those things are like independent of the loan cost. Like they're independent of the rate we're offering you. So he was just like super duper clear. He was easy to understand and he was very responsive. So 
I read online the reviews that some people said better mortgage, like they don't pick up the phone, they ignore you, they're not responsive. My experience was the opposite. My salesperson was like super helpful. Of course he'd be helpful, he's the salesperson. But um, even after he had probably like closed the deal on his part, he continued to kind of be responsive throughout the process. So that was helpful. And then um, after I decided, okay, I'm gonna go with credit, um, go with better mortgage, locking the rate was super helpful. And what I loved is that you lock the rate, but like you can still select any of those different numbers within that table. So it's like, okay, I locked this rate of, my case it was 7% because rates are crazy, crazy high right now. 7% um, with, you know, X down and X in credits back to me. But if I wanted to pay a lower rate, I'd have to pay this much in points. It was just like you lock the rate, but then you can choose any number within that timetable, not timetable, within that rate table. It was just super duper clear. Whereas I will say when I was working with another mortgage underwriter, it was super confusing trying to compare rates with her whenever I asked like, oh, what if I wanna put down, you know, 16% versus 15% or, put down, you know, 18% or like, what if I put down, what if I pay a little bit more for a better rate? Like every time I asked for a different combination of numbers, she was like doing it manually on the back end and it took her days to get back to me. It was just very, very frustrating to me. Whereas better.com, it's like I could call my salesperson and be like, hey, I want to change this. And he's like, well, you can look it up online or here are what your rates and numbers would be. So I just think better's system for looking at the rates, big picture was really great. Once you lock the rate with better, it is very clear, like these are your options. And if you want to play with the numbers, you can, but here's your like different amounts that you are locked into. Um, then I will say as far as getting the appraiser out to the condo that I'm purchasing, they are very, very fast. Um, I paid $625 for the home appraiser. So that was actually less than what the other person, like lender in Atlanta that I was working with charged. Um, they came out right away and the appraisal, I haven't done, this is my first like real home mortgage, um, came up right at what I was offering to pay for the condo, which is exactly what the other home appraiser did as well. My real estate agent was like, oh, the better.com mortgage, per like they might not get the right home appraiser. They might come in less than what you paid, in which case you'd have to pay the difference. This is a big risk, but I'll tell you their home appraiser came out right away within two days because again, my salesperson, not my salesperson, my real estate agent and me kind of pushed them like, hey, I have to close in three weeks, get a person out right away. And they did and they got the job done. Okay, um, what else was good and bad? Okay, let's talk about some of the bad things about um, better.com. So I will say I ended up locking the rate and basically leaving the woman I was going to be working with and moving forward with better mortgage three weeks before my closing date. So very, very close. And my real estate agent had signed a contract so that I paid 15,000 in escrow if I did not close by that date. So it was like, you have to close us, better.com, within three weeks. Like there's no, um, <laughs> you have to do this. And we basically gave them the fake date of two weeks um, saying, hey, if you don't get everything signed, clear to close within three weeks. I'm going to go with this other mortgage letter lender who's more expensive, but I know can get the job done. Did better close in those two weeks? No, <laughs> they did not. Um, this was one of the most frustrating things to me. They were supposed to close, give me the clear to close last week, Friday. They did not. They were close to completing everything, but then the following week, so this past week, they were still um, asking me for some more documentation. They had a typo in the one of the documents that they had asked. Um, I have a current condo that they had to send to actually, anyway, long story short, but they had a typo in one of their documents that was their fault. They said, you need to sign a new document. And I said, okay, send me the new document. And they never did. So I actually ended up crossing it out and resending it to the person to get signed. So that was an example of like something I did not like about better was they did have a mistake 
in a paperwork and when I said send me the new paperwork they didn't and then they did not give me the clear to close until in two weeks they literally had everything buttoned up on Friday so I'm filling this on Saturday I'm closing on Monday they basically had everything buttoned up literally literally the day that they had to do it so they pushed it to the very very end they did not get it done ahead of time if I had worked with the other lender she would have probably gotten it done a few days in advance so I will say it was very, very stressful working with Better because they missed the deadlines that they said they could meet. They did close within three weeks, which was very, very fast, but the whole process was very stressful because they did not meet the dates. Okay, what else did I not like? I hated, hated the person that I was working with that had direct contact with the mortgage underwriter. So my salesperson was great at mortgage, um, better mortgage. He seemed like he knew what he was doing. The person that was like the coordinator between me and the mortgage underwriter did not know what she was doing. Like she would say, we need this document. And I would then send it to her and say, Hey, can you upload this to the portal? Because they give you different tasks to do. And she'd be like, yeah, I'll upload it to the portal. And then she wouldn't upload it to the portal. And then two weeks later, it would show up as a task on my end. Or um, she was also very unresponsive to emails. It took a couple of times to email her to get a response. I had to copy the salesperson. When I called her, she would sometimes pick up. Um, I would often get like an out of office message from her and then she would say that she was in the office and working or she would do things like say, hey, I need your, your July statements but she would fail to mention, oh no, I actually need your July and your June statements for this account. So she just didn't know what she was doing. I don't think she knew anything about the underwriting process because it seemed like she was taking what the underwriter told her and kind of like spinning it to me and it wasn't quite accurate as far as what she would need it need. So there was a lot of back and forth. I also spent a ton of time trying to provide some documentation to lower my private mortgage insurance amount spent all of this time resending documents and then she's like oh your um debt ratio went down but it doesn't change your pmi and it was like well i asked you before going through this process if it would so anyway she just didn't know too much about what she was doing at all another thing that i hated was i did this is an example i did property management for my mom's triplex like three years ago. So it has no impact on my current income, should not have any impact on my current better mortgage rate. Like it's not income anymore. And I would tell them like, hey, you're asking for documentation that I don't have. I don't know where I would get it. Like, um, can you just delete this task? Can you delete this task? And I would reach out to them, reach out to them. The salesperson would ask them to delete it. The, the, the coordinator would say she would delete it and she didn't. So it just, Big picture, what I hated most about Better Mortgage was when you actually get into the review period, the person that you are coordinating with may not know what they're talking about. And it was very, very, very frustrating. She would tell me that I had sent everything that she needed and then she would come back to me. Um, she would not make sense in the way that she asked for things. I would send her things via email to upload to the portal because she hadn't created the task, but told me that I needed to submit it. And then she wouldn't upload it to the portal. So like big picture, I really hated that. If I were working with an actual like person here in Atlanta, I feel like they actually know what they're doing and they would know what to ask for and they would be more clear in the process. So I will say it was a very, very stressful experience because I hated the coordinator that I was working with. Um, and then also, like I mentioned, I would email her, call her, and she would not always respond. So that was very, very frustrating. And I mentioned the mistake on the paperwork. Um, so that's it. Big picture, I will say better.com mortgage. Like I really loved their paperwork. Like when I was looking at their loan estimate, which I got right from the get go, um, it did not change from the, like the, the cost that they were charging me did not change from the day that I locked the rate 
to the day that I got the all clear and the final paperwork, I was worried that they would like have some hidden fees or something like that and try to rip me off at the end. Better Mortgage did not do that. The pricing was very transparent. I did love their rate tables and even just looking at like the final paperwork, the way they break all of the cost downs was way more clear, easier to follow than like the tables I got from the other mortgage lender in Atlanta. And the math was just, it was perfect because I feel like their system has everything spat out automatically. Whereas when I looked at the information that the mortgage lender had provided me, um, there was some things kind of missing or I felt like they, maybe where they put the numbers were in buckets to make it look like I was paying less which I didn't like. Um, their date ranges on things were just put in a little bit of a way to make it look like I was paying less at closing and paying less per month, whereas Better Mortgage, their paperwork was very clear and easy to follow. So um, in summary, would I use Better Mortgage again? What's my review of Better Mortgage? Um, they did get the job done. They did close me in three weeks. I will say though, like I said, um, my real estate agent was on them. I was on them. And every time they submitted me paperwork, I send it back to them within like two hours. I also hated that it would be like a full day um, and then I would get a task assigned to me at like 7 p.m. So they, I felt like they kind of sat on things a lot and I'm not sure if they would be able to close in like three weeks for most people. I think it was because I was really, really fast and me and my real estate agent really pushed them. So I will say if you have a hard date like me where you have to close in three weeks, I would not go with better. And I would say if you found somebody else who maybe you might pay like an extra $500 more to close, but it's with like a person that you know, I would have paid an extra $500 to not have all the stress that I had to go through with better. And the amount of time that I had to spend going through back and forth through the coordinator because she didn't quite know what she was doing, um, time's money. Time is money and I felt like she was not the best. So that's my experience. I am going with better. They did close me in three weeks. They did give me the best rate. I am saving a lot of money. I'm not paying that $1,300 at closing. I'm actually getting a credit, which is pretty substantial of $2,700. So I am saving a lot of money with better. Um, just know that the process is the paper, the, Rate calculators are really, really clear, but um, when you get into the actual like paperwork part of the process, the people that are working there aren't quite the most experienced. So yeah, that's it. Um, if you used better, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you thought of the process. Um, I know that the reviews online, some people seem to love them, some people seem to hate them. They got the job done. I don't know whether any of the mortgage companies are great. I think it's a pretty horrible process for everybody, um, but I would have much rather worked with an actual person. So when I go to refinance my house, um, I will most likely use better to get the rates. And then I'm going to talk to like four people in Atlanta and actually work with a person. Thanks.